Welcome to Boss His Money. In this video today, I sit down with a professor at the University of Pittsburgh. In this video, he talks about Celebrate Africa. This was an amazing event where African countries came together. A lot of different vendors came together and they shared and they showcased Africa and they also talked about Africa. They were educating about what Africa is all about. If you find value in this video, please leave us a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe to Boss His Money. Today, I have a privilege of talking to Professor himself from the University of Pittsburgh. And I'm so excited about what we are gonna talk about today. You know, recently we just had this amazing event. I must tell you, Professor, <laughs> I was so grateful to be a part of that event, That's especially great. that it was the first time yes. ever held here in Pittsburgh. And it was run by the University of Pittsburgh. And today I have a pleasure mm. of talking to uh, Professor Eric. I'm sure people would like to know who is this man? My name is Eric uh, Berko. I'm a professor at the University of Pittsburgh, uh, but originally from Ghana, okay. West Africa. <laughs> really? How long have you been in Pittsburgh? 22 years. Wow, you are really now a veteran. <laughs> you are a veteran in Pittsburgh. You know, um, up until that day, I'd never heard of any celebration mm -hmm. about Africa mm -hmm. until that day when we had this wonderful yeah. event. So why celebrate Africa? The reason why we celebrate Africa is very important here. Mm -hmm. Because for several years, the university taught have a course or Center for Africa and they teach African courses. Okay. And in fact, you surprising is that you have so many students mm. formerly people are not interested in africa mm -hmm. but then surprisingly you have people entering students want to learn africa mm. there are a lot of conferences we have when people occupy the area okay. people just want to know and a lot of them who return who go back to africa some of them go to east africa south africa anywhere when they return mm -hmm. they always there's a conference come and tell what they have experienced wow. their mind change because what they see about africa is different mm -hmm. And that motivated us. Mm -hmm. In fact, for so many years, we have the vision. Because right. these conferences we've been holding mm -hmm. in at Pitts. But we realized that, no, we have to come outside Pitts. Yes. And embrace the whole thing, bring communities together. Mm. And in fact, the idea was quite different for over 10 years ago. Really? But surprisingly, the center of our African studies, we, unfortunately, we have a director who of course, retired, was not feeling fine. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, and in fact, he has to retire. Then we have to wait. Mm -hmm. And it was a long system. It's like it took some time for a new director to come. Okay. But before that, I and one um, Dr. Uh, Lele mm -hmm. uh, from Kenya, mm -hmm. we started a plan quite a long time. Okay. And we were planning by just that for financial, for support, we have to wait. Right. It was very easy difficult at a certain point where whether we should put that aside mm -hmm. but no matter what surprisingly we had a new director who came and she was interested with the vision so mm. we lay out that this is what we want to do and we are not doing just in the investing we mm -hmm. want to go out and get the community to join us to celebrate africa celebrating simply an honor mm -hmm. given to where god placed us to. Mm -hmm. because it's quite interesting I and a lot of Africans we meet, they say, what are we doing mm -hmm. to promote ourselves? We have a lot of people, students who finish, a lot of black students, Africans, they, mm. they need a vision, they need a passion, because what they hear around them is very disturbing. Right. What are we doing, we leaders? If we want to be leader, we have to promote and push people, all right? Because I have a lot of Africans who sit in a class, mm -hmm. some meet me, mm. they have a vision, passion. All right, but what the world see them is different from the way they want to see. Yeah. So it's uh, it's not just for celebrate for entertainment per se, mm -hmm. but it's education it's to bring education. their mind to yes. educate them mm -hmm. to let them know that it's not who tells about you, 
but what you say about you. You know what I mean? So yes. it brings their mind. So this celebration after that, we have a lot of students even thanking us mm. because they, they got the courage to do what they want to do now. So that's the reason why to want to celebrate our culture, mm -hmm. to promote ourselves. We have a lot of people. That's why we give opportunity for people to, uh, we have business people, of course, like, you know, your business where everybody yes. sent it, and everyone was happy because we want to promote. A lot of people have small stores. They didn't know, no one had been heard about them. Mm. We interact and put ourselves. They yes. were given a whole lot of their ideas. And so, so what I'm getting from you is that this celebrating Africa was not really just about celebrations, but it's about also educating. For education. Because I've noticed that a lot of people have not traveled widely, like yeah, go to places you. like Africa. Mm. Like even me personally, I've had people ask me questions like, <laughs> do you have pizza in Africa? Do you live no. in homes in Africa? So this was an, uh, an opportunity of trying to mm -hmm. educate people about what Africa was. Do you think that that, um, that mission or the purpose of this Celebrate Africa was achieved? It was, it's what achieved. Mm -hmm. The reason why I said achieved is that mm -hmm. we had a discussion after the meeting. And read really so many people because the message of what is interesting in surprise, let me start from a historical perspective for you to understand. Mm -hmm. One thing so many times mm -hmm. we will have had, even in the universities, mm -hmm. even in universities, to yes. study about Africa, to study about blacks is mm. very difficult. Yes. So a lot of departments, African department centers don't get enough to promote mm. the culture. So you realize that a lot of people didn't, didn't know. Right. And this one gives opportunity. Right. Because surprisingly, at the end of the day, what happened that you have all the departments, some of the departments were financially contributed to support. Mm. We raised a lot of thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of organizations, not in Facebook, bringing money mm -hmm. to promote it. Yes. The way we raise money, mm. not just Facebook, people just had it. Companies, mm -hmm. because they saw that we want to tell our history, our culture. I think our, that and was really amazing. Education mm -hmm. was surprising when they saw, especially what is quite interesting, when they saw even countries represented yes. the culture. Some of them walk, then they look about the history of the culture, mm -hmm. the history of the background. Mm -hmm. It was it was education. A lot of them, at the end of the day, many of the departments were quite interested. People were calling us here and there that they didn't know that Africa, we could tell what the truth is about Africa. I think what I really liked about it is that uh, the Africans themselves yes. are telling the story. <laughs> are telling the story. Yes, because there's a difference <laughs> when someone tells a story from being an observer and the other person who has actually mm -hmm. lived through the situation. That is it. How did it take the university to plan this event? No, in actual fact, the, in terms of conference mm -hmm. and talking during Research for Africa for mm -hmm. several years, no problem. Yes. So there's no problem with university because since I've been there, you have always a thought we have conferences, people come and present. But most of the time, the presentation is to the academians, ah. the intelligence. You know, it's that because now those investors know mm -hmm. that Africa is developing. Yes. But then we came to a point, he said that we can still talk to ourselves. Mm. We have to go beyond the investing. Yes. And the only thing to do to bring African themselves community, larger number here, mm. associations, churches, mm. bring them in yes. to come and join us so that we share the common. Mm. So it was we Africans actually. You know what I mean? In the department. Right. Relax. And then, thank God, we have the director coming. It happened that her love for Africa, I've never seen that before. Wow. She spent my time trying to Africa. Almost want to go to Africa. And you see someone with the perspective, want to promote Africa. Mm -hmm. God brought her, I'm yes. telling you. A simple miracle. We never expect, because people take some time to see what Africa should be studied. She she act like Africa. He said no. You know what I mean? So our prayer, God simply answered our prayer. Yes. She came and when I talked to her, he said, let's move on right away. Yes. 
and bring the committee because we told them that if you don't bring the committee there's nothing can be done mm -hmm. because there are a lot of people who come and share that idea mm -hmm. so that is the reason why and it was quite interesting because after that everybody became so interested you see and there's a message moving around from one place to another place especially that's those blacks who came africa wow that's awesome how was the turnout because I noticed there were a number of African mm. countries. Were you impressed with the turnout? Or what message can you give to those communities who did not come out to be participants? Yeah, in actual fact, uh, let me tell you, those actually, they're coming. A lot of people come and go. Mm -hmm. So if you, you sit down and you see, you see that many people actually came. Mm -hmm. Because majority will come for three hours then they'll go some will be coming and just going really so on, yes of course so you mm. see the trend that people are just coming going some came even late mm -hmm. towards the end of the of the, the that is the program <laughs> they need to work on their time that's one thing i noticed about you know, right, uh -huh. <laughs> but that that's the only thing because even mm -hmm. those who are coming to settle but we told you that because it was first time and now people experience because people had for the quite a long time mm -hmm. there were some who wanted to register but the registration took a longer time for people to register okay you know, huh? that which means that next time because we started it in april may mm -hmm. and quite a short time and now you have a lot of companies so now we decided that we're going to start a bit early so that people okay. have more access to it and that's okay. message that's sent around mm -hmm. so to us the number that came was very encouraging mm -hmm. because if you count those who come and go and what is comprises that we should have a number to display their culture right it's dress food mm -hmm. to I us it is was, very very oh nice. i ate some egusi there from oh you also ate. it was so so good <laughs> if you missed like the professor is saying next time make sure you are there especially if you are the, of the african heritage it was amazing so Thank what you. would you like to see at the next celebration if we ha if at all it happens again or are there any plans of having the next celebrate africa Anyway, we have a plan to do it every year. Mm -hmm. That is the main reason. So this year, actually, we started something like, we use the term experimentation. Okay. What's an experimentation? When you are starting something new, you did it a little bit. Mm. Something simple to yes. make sure that things work. Mm -hmm. But we have, our aim is bigger than what we did. Okay. First of all, the nature of our vision mm. let me tell the broad first yes. before we know what to do a little because it's like we're building a building you have architectural building you, you have the design mm -hmm. but then you start a little bit yes uh -huh. so you can't just jump straight and do a big i've thing. heard of the saying in africa they say uh, you don't test the the water by putting both your legs in the <laughs> ocean right you're right <laughs> so, <laughs> so and what we did was that so that our general plan mm -hmm. that we hope that is going to be a weekly. Mm. We're not saying this coming year per se. We're talking about our hope in future mm -hmm. that it will be a week, a week long. Our wow. desire is that we should be able to start beginning of the year, maybe the week, mm -hmm. where probably the weekend before the whole week we mm -hmm. have africans we match mm. with our flags then we march and all get to downtown all right we, we are going to celebrate and that is going to be advertised to advertise the week yes because when we do it on saturday then the no monday tuesday is going to continue yes all right and we need to walk through downtown <laughs> all africans we have kenyans who <laughs> carrying their flag everybody carry a flag yes and we're going <laughs> and dancing along Let somebody might be listening person. professor and saying you know, <laughs> why are you africans coming here maybe you have an answer for them because that's one of the questions i get beautiful mm -hmm. because the point is that you know we have to understand is that because you understand culture mm -hmm. sometimes when you go to downtown you have uh, some group greek family marching yes. italians mm -hmm. making so celebrating their culture mm -hmm. scottish mm -hmm. you see them marching in downtown wearing right? green color and so on <laughs> and we are hiding because we are using that to advertise mm -hmm. that throughout the week mm -hmm. what's going to start then we're going to start with a lot of conference and we're going to have even one particular evening children, mm. children. they're going to get a showcase storytelling mm. we're going to be teacher to learn 
our culture. Mm -hmm. It has to come a point. It's going to be evening. It's going to be a special evening for women. Looking at women issue. Mm. It's going to be program for it is a whole across starting from evening program. There will be a lot of theater, drumming, dancing, mm. joy. It's a whole right from beginning. Mm -hmm. That's our future. Yes. Then the Saturday, by that time, that Saturday they're going to have so many people. Because mm -hmm. throughout the week, it has been Exactly, it has been drummed and drummed and people know what it is. Yes. Because that weekend was beautiful, but a lot of people said they didn't know about it. Mm -hmm. And I first came as a, a student. Okay. Then when I finished, I stayed. Mm. Okay. But I came to University of Pittsburgh. Okay. Then I stayed. Mm -hmm. But what actually motivated me is that when we were students, mm -hmm. because I studied cultures, Really, cultures, performance, mm. music, cultures, performance. But I specialize in black culture, which okay. Africa was my fundamental. Mm -hmm. But interesting, when I was student, there was there was a every time they have every Saturday every year mm -hmm. in May, they have performances, cultural showcase of food and so on. Okay, that is, that is Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So the Caribbean every year they've done it. And the, the faculty members actually promoted that that 40 years ago. This year they are celebrating 40 years. Yeah. And since we're doing coaches, we're supposed to go and look at how they present food, dresses. Mm -hmm. so. so I told when I finished, I will tell some of the Africans that we see what these people are doing. Mm -hmm. They should. We are quiet. We need to. So that was also very encouraging mm. because they want to simply show their culture. So exactly. Because, you know, what I believe is God created each and every one of us different. <laughs> and according to the different continents, yes. we are all different. different. And I think the difference is what brings the beauty about it. The beauty about it. I yes. appreciate but it. But it's more like Africans, we were kind of mute. What made us quiet? That is very surprising that I think that Africa will sit down. And some of us, because there's a lot of questions. And my experience also comes from when I was teaching. Mm. I think greater parts come from teaching. Mm -hmm. Because I go to a time where people were rushing to study Africa. Mm. So that the class, because I teach four classes every term. Yes. And four classes every term, I have over 150 students totally. Mm -hmm. And you have one class about 40. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you have is 40. And you have some students, the seat is full, but they are sitting down on the floor. <laughs> they want to know they about said, this Africa. One student simply sat down holding. Before he saw me, he had his pen ready to write what will come from my mouth. Tears ran through my eyes. Oh. He's begging me. He said he wouldn't mind sit on the floor to learn Africa. Oh. That is it, so quite encouraging. How can someone mm -hmm. beg you to learn your culture? Mm. I went and sat for a chair and bring it to him. Mm. But I said God will never forgive me if yes. I serve this person. Yes. So you see the passion they want yeah. to learn. As Africans, why do we sit down? Mm. Why do we sit down? Why? Why? Mm -hmm. That's why we'll be asked. I think there's a purpose, and I will tell some people that sometimes God brought us here not for us to just gain, yes. not for me because I want to be rich. That's mm. fine, but is that all? There's because much I'm more. a channel. Yes. So with God wants to get rich. Yes. So if God bless you, He's not blessing you just for your sake. No, but I really love that. It is a channel mm. because through you, some people will gain. Yes, but sometimes. We lock ourselves mm, because mm. I have the money, I bought my house, mm, I have my family, I'm I can good. go and enjoy, so mm. I'm good. And most of the time when you do that, I believe that God will take it out from exactly. you. Exactly. And because you are exactly. responsible to express. That's what I'm saying, Africans, oh God, God open us to come to this diaspora. Mm -hmm. Not, why do you lose Zambia and Ghana mm -hmm. to come here? Mm -hmm. It's for a purpose. Yes. It's so a when bigger it, purpose. It's a bigger, God mm -hmm. wants, because through us, mm -hmm. Do you know that people didn't know Africa? The reason why people are traveling to Africa and interest in Africa, people want to interact with Africa, China, India, and they're all writing to Africa because they saw Africa when we came here. They saw that we are hardworking. Exactly. Our method to rise. <laughs> we are not lazy. Right. Why? Because what I'm talking about. So they see that oh they can God. work with us. And we say that quietly. Mm. I tell them that I will, God will ask me, mm -hmm. Eric, what did you do? What did so that you I do? I will be glorified. Mm -hmm. 
Because what I believe is that we are all unique, unique. and we are all Thank special. You. Like word, right? What would you say to someone who feels intimidated because maybe they are Africans? They may not be Africans. Some people are intimidated yeah. even if they come from Asia. What would you tell such a person? In fact, I, well, normally what I, I tell people, and uh, especially people from different cultures, is that mm -hmm. first of all, I, I always encourage them to know that they have come here for a purpose. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, the reason why we get confused is that we don't know the purpose why we came here. Yes. And sometimes we assume that that's the reason why we came here. Mm -hmm. But it might be a different because exactly. once you catch up with the purpose, mm. you succeed. When you now miss you, the are, purpose, you, you are kind of preaching. Oh, what? <laughs> the professor now is really, really so, preaching. Because there are a lot of students, you know, there's one student, who's two students, who mm -hmm. one day in my music in Africa, after class, he stood and asked me, am I a pastor? I said, I'm not a pastor. He said, what do you mean by pastor? Because, they asked me, am I Because, you know, when you start talking about purpose, it, it automatically oh, takes me you to God. Oh, Why God <laughs> created us. We all have a purpose. Your color doesn't mm. even matter. It doesn't matter. You may be black, you may be white, you it may be whatever matter. color, yes. but there's a purpose inside yes, of purpose. you and the reason why god put you wherever yes you put you. and that's why i think they had to come out to my pastor mm -hmm. because students most of the time right from beginning of the class mm -hmm. one from the beginning of the class i'm just telling you this part of it mm -hmm. one from the beginning of the class they sit down most of the time we introduce mm -hmm. the course of what you want to do yes but then one thing i tell them is that and most of the time you have the blacks mm. africans so many different cultures who have come their parents brought them here they want to learn mm -hmm. and i tell them that first of all it depends on you yes yeah i tell them that no one work for you mm. for you to succeed mm -hmm. first on you yes and some of them sometimes when they come to my office i tell them and counsel them i said listen we assume that god should work for us so i should close my hand imagine work Mm -mm. It's never exist that way. No. He gives us a responsibility. Yes. And we put the responsibility aside. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I tell them that you are here to get an A, and no one work for you to get an A, mm -hmm. I can give you A, mm -hmm. you have to work for the A. Yes. You don't work, you don't get an A. Exactly. <laughs> you know, right? exactly. So exactly. it's to motivate and bring people mind. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of, I remember there was one student who came and friends, he said he wanted to do psychology. Mm -hmm. Then after I've interacted to my class, he came to the fold that no. For what I discussed with them, mm -hmm. he felt that no. Because most of the time he feel difficult learning the psychology. Yes. No doubt that his her interest in communication. Oh wow. So he linked with the parents and advised the parents. Mm -hmm. That first of all, we should not look at the world and force our children into the global and what the world yes. is needed. Yes. Yes. A lot of parents, me Do included, that. we have made a lot of mistakes with our you know. children. Just because I wanted to be a pilot, yes. and now I want my child to be a pilot. Yes. Instead of finding out what um, yeah. did God yeah. put in them. And you as educators, I can't begin to thank you enough for the work you do with these children. Because you are opening up their uh, minds yes. to yes. things... <laughs> that are possible you know sometimes people are so limited but then when they go in the right hands mm -hmm. they can be shaped i want to thank you for the work oh, that you do so and the lives that you've been transforming mm -hmm. so what last words can you tell our viewers today oh actually what i want to tell everyone is that first of all you have to know you yourself mm -hmm. you have to first of all define you mm. Who are you? Who are you? Most of the mm. time, for you to grow up and you don't know who you are. Mm. Because when you don't know who you are, then people tell you who you are. Mm. So you miss the direction, the purpose for which you were born. Mm. And you do what others like. So when all around there's business, there's money in the business, you enter into business. There's money in science, you enter into science. Mm. You ask, we sometimes we become out of the whole purpose. Yes. But the only thing is that, first of all, you yourself, who are you? Huh. Once you're able to Depression. determine, define yourself, it's mm -hmm. not defining anybody, defining yourself. yourself. Who are you? What is your ability? What mm -hmm. is your strength? What mm. is your power? Because we can only rise along our strength, not our weakness. Everybody is weak. 
It's only God who is perfect. Yes. But then God has given a little bit strength somewhere mm. where we have to lay on. Mm. And because I had that dream, I should say, 40 years ago in my life, if I tell so much of this, that I discovered that in mm. Africa. Mm. I discovered that in Africa. So much that I saw right away that that's the purpose of God. And it came to a time I remember that I was praying. And God, I think it more like revelation it came in my heart mm. because I was tossed around in high school, depending on what I want to do. Mm -hmm. But it opened. Then I know who I am. Mm. When I get locked to understand who I am, then that is where I want to move along the line. Otherwise, I would not be like this. Mm. I would have been somewhere. Excuse me to say, probably doing nothing. Exactly. But one thing I think that I will let everyone know that first of all is to know your identity, mm -hmm. who you are. That's the first thing you should do. Then the purpose for which you came on earth to begin with. Wow. And that God should help you to achieve that so that his name will be glorified. That is the main purpose we're here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a big one, Professor Eric. It's a big one. Thank you. Because we all were created for a purpose. Mm. And the first thing is for us to find out who am I mm. and why am I here. Thank we are not like animals. <laughs> we are human I beings. Like <laughs> we have a greater purpose. I pray that you have found value in this video. And if you have, please leave us a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed, please subscribe to boss his money. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you.